At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Sisha Prajavatula Itri Kirime Purudda Dirigan Vima Sandha, Dedas Dahata Janavari Atavanadina, Sama Darwek to Masandha, Sandaham Itri Kirime Ginumak, Atinikaha, Samaja Vagaki, CSR, Lesa Salaka, Vurtakana Dela, Desa, CLM Itri Kirim Bank, Wanja Bank within Ma Illa, Sitinama, Make a Degun Ekanta with Prakashakala Tibena, Karu Katana Katumani, Upper Raji, Apagi. Daruan to Usas, Jivan Tatuak, Sahatika Kirima, the Kapu Rajak, Eano, Aurud Pahe, Sita Dahana Medakwa, Vias Kanda, Pasu and a million, Hatra de Sumpaku, Pasal Daruan Sada, Sam Daruakum, Rupia, Laksa Deka Quatina, Rakshan Avaranak, Laba, Rakshan Akrama, Kanduna Dimata, Upper Katu to Karnava, Mayor did make a Vipli, Aram Beckless Salakana. Mimma Rakshan Avarne Magin, Bahirha, Nevasika Pratikara, Avarne Kana Atara, Bahir Pratikara, Sandha Rupial, Dahadahako, Rohal Gatavimi Rupial, Laksia Kata, Yata to Avarne Salasun Atta, Rakshan Varke, Raja Visin Darnu at the Atara, Me Sandha Rupial Million, Dedas Hatsia Quen Kirimata, Mang Yojana Kana, Ting Eka Paulo Lama, Dene Kundane Kitio. Laksa Hayak ke ka paulo ke leben na pula mitera pi ati kalati ena me ka tamai yaha pal inte na vatina ka malesa ma me avsi matak karan ke amati garu khata na ke tumani dedas das yaha sasen na vita dedas daha tavarshe di adya pane sanda venkal mudal adu baba ta boho sanwa daha vivechan tibena baba ma dannava adya pane shethre thava durata ayjne avashe buhot. Emma Avashita, Emma Varshe, Tulin, Maven Kirimata, Mama Me, Garu Sabahavata, Nidesh Kernava, Usas Adiapane, Garu Kata Nagatumani, Varshe Dasnam Chanu Pahedi, Namada, Desi Hatris Park, Wu Shvidal, Vidyavelt, Atula Karaka, Chisha Sankeva, Dedas Pahalo Varshe Vanavita, Visi Hayadahak, Dakwa, Vedi Viti Benava, Me Tava Vedi Karanatapi Bala Purden Sitino. Ehe Sri Lanka, Vishavidale, Sisun, Atula Kirimada, Dala Anupatek. Anikut Saman Ratual Ha Sasadi Medi, Siet Da Hataka Wada, Adu Agia Ganava, Garu Katanakatumani, Garu Agramatma, Matakadi, Mima Sabaha with the Idripat Kanara, the Apagi Arctic, Piriman, the Idridakma Sanha, Nakareta, Apagi Ilake, Wane Adia Pensa, Kusulata, Sanvandi Navasta, Vedikar Limai, Dedas Pahalo Varshe, Visi Hayadaku, Vishavidal, Atulat, Anikut. Usas Adia Pan Ayatim Sanda, Atulat Karugan Laban, Sisun Sanke, Degunia Karamin, Visse Visse, the Sisun Panasda, Pedikirimata, Api Bala Purtu Menava, Karukata Nakumani, Apake Adia Pane Kameha, Shamavel and the Pula, Atar and Nisi Saman the Taviak, Nomati Baba, Pasugi, Dinamadi, Api Visin, Shamavel and the Pula, Samaka Kernla, the Saka Tavali, Eliuna. Shama Velanda Pula Tula, Vishesh, Mulia, Toraturu, Takshin, Banku, Sanchar, Shetre, and Vivida Anshaval, the Via Prudin, Sandaha, Vedi Ilumak Tibeno, Apage Pratisans Kerne, Ilake, Vane, Mulika, Rate, Anagata, Parapura Vena, Taruna, Tarunianta, Rakia, Velanda Pulita, Atul Vima, Sandaha, Avashe, Kusalatavan, Yerin and Vimaha, Rakia, Velanda Pula Tula, Danatama, Pavatina, Kusalata, Navamagata, Yumukarna, Karamin, Iheran and Vimai. Banku Karne, Avadanam Kalmana Karne, Via Parika Sankia, Via Harika Sankia, Tane, Sama Sauke Vidyava, Robo Vidyava, Yantra, Sa Jivinge, San Vedan Has, Swan Kriya, Palne, Krama, Pilimanda Vidyava, Cybernetic, Satkara Kalmana Karne, when Vishen, Atulat Kota, Upadi Vishen Daravan. Vividyang Karnia Kirima Sandaha, Dananda Tibena Kala, Upadi Visha, Taravata, Ganiti, Sankia, Sankianeha, Torutur Takshe, Veni Vishan, Handuna Dimata, Katu to Kerna, Me Venuin, Deshana Shala, Vidyagara, Hostel, Saha Anikut, Ashita, Jatitahala Pasukam, Varne Kimasa, Rupia Million, Dahatunda, Dahat, Dahatunda, Tunsi, Dahat, Mudal, Dananda, Venkara Tibena. Garu Katana Katumani, Run Visha Vidyale, White De Pite, Pandava Gathaki Sisun Sankya, Vekasi Hate Sid Tunsiak Dakwa Vedikar Limata Haki and Paradi, Mahal Dahaikin Yutu Gorenagila, Karapiti, White De Pitya Tula, Idikirimata Katu to Karnoa, 
Dedas da hatta varşedi mesanda rupiyal milyon pansiyak mudal ben kiri mete ma yojana kano. Emin Sri Jayadhana pura kelleniye ruhunu yapan ya peyre dini yani vishe vidyalle adhyapan navedi upadi patamala aram kiri mete khati to karna. Garu kata ne ki tumani apagi upadi apeksha loke ati dakshin samag thana kiri mete hakiya on pavidinu ma. मैं संबंध एक्सट राजधानी पावतमा लाभना दिदास दासे फॉर्मूला शिष्य तारंगे द फॉर्मूला स्टूडेंट जो के 216 सहबागी भी फलमु पांती हुंदमन नावक फॉर्मूला नावके या फॉर्मूला शिष्य प्रदाने कैपवी में सह हुंदमन थानी रियादुरु लेसर विरुद्धा वलिन मोरटुए विश्वविद्यालय शाक ग्रेसिन कांडा म Ema kanda ema ada dina mema sahaba me sabah bata feminine lesa ma aradna kereti benawa. Ewe ni vivida badas setan sanda apagi wisu vidya lesi sun sahaba agi bi dakshita penwan bawa ma dan dan nawa. Sisun ta dakshita diunu kere gani mata pautdi dike anci ada ewe ni tharanga sanda ha kerunu laban daya katte mang agi kerenawa. Karu kata naga tu mani. ये आकार ये तो अपने दक्षता हा दीप्तिमात शिष्यन कुशलता वांधने वेनुएन विश्व विद्यारे दाह तक इंजीनियरों वाइद्य जीव विद्याव बाउतिक विद्याव वगे साहा नीति या न पीटर वाली बीहीवन होंदमा शिष्यन तिदने एक ता हार्वर्ड एमआईटी ऑक्सफोर्ड केम्ब्रिज या सिंगापुर के जाति के विश्व विद्यालय एनयूएस वैनी लोग उसास में विश्व विद्यालय के आचार्य उपाधि दक्षवा पाठमाला हैंडल रीमेटर हैकी वन से शिष्यत तक में या स्थापित करी मेटर मांग योजना करने वाला शिष्य निर्दुम करना करन करने नम इम शिष्य शिष्यत्व योजना क्रमिया देशीय विश्वविद्यालय के पाश्चात उपाधि पाठ माला व हैदरी में दाखवा दी योद्धा का तह की बनवा में संधा रुपया मिलियन पांच सौ क्वेंट के लिए मटे योजना करने वाला विश्वविद्यालय शिष्य ने क्रीड़ा खाला खातित्व ने विषय बाहर त्यागकारी वाले नियाली में उनांधु कर ली में संधा रुपया Jati ke wujudnya samiti perempuan, sama ke makar nelayan, sahaja cara yojana, buaya, wisata bidya lola, desa n pewati makar, ratri, atau dakpa diri ke kena lesetai. Memangin wisata bidya le atulat keraga teh ke sisen sangkia, wadi kiri mata men ma sampat upuri malah se bawi tak kiri mata hatu ena bawa mama wiswa sekarang nama. Wisata bidya le adya penya paripala anci senda, sikisen sastra. अतुलत कार्य मंडले संवदन वैदेशिकान आरंभ करी में दी मां योजना करना आतर ये संधा विदेश विश्वविद्यालय समग्र एक आबद्ध सहबागित्वे संबंध वार्धने कर गए नीम दायरियत में करने वां गारु खाता ना के तुमने मां यह तीन संधान कल पारिदी देदास पहलवा वर्षे हां सासदन विटे विश्व विश्व वर्षे वन विटे राज्य विश्वविद्यालय हां अनेकों तुषार साध्या पने आयतन संधा बांधवा गनु लाभन शिष्य संख्या वसीय ट सीय के इन वैल्यू करनु देगु न्याक किरी मटे आप खाटी तो करना ये अनुव विश्वविद्यालय ट अतुलत कर गाना सिसुन संख्या व पानस दाहा दाखवा पमना क्वेडी वनु ऐतर संख्या व दत्ता अनु हेलिवान ने एक लाख से पनास दाह दिलाख से कतरवन शिष्य प्रजावागिन तीस पंद्रह के टा आस आसान न सिसुन प्रमाणक विश्वविद्या विविध विश्वविद्यालय विदेश विश्वविद्यालय और राज्य नौन पाउंडगली का उसा साध्या पन आयतन उसा साध्या पने पास कौन लबन बाबाई कैसे नमूद अप देनुम केंद्र स्थाने क्वीम उपयोग उपय Taruna taruni ante usah sadia pan pasukan laba gani mana tiba na awasta wedi kali itu ya. Mes mes sandha kadi nam kriya marga gati itu ya nama. Apa balai te pemenu pasu adia pan sandha selik kiri itu ayurin aramudal wedi kala tiba nama. Namu tu wisya vidya le usah sadia pan pasukan eti kala di mana nam apa prayogi ke biaya itu. Raja te pamanak mema amyogi jaya gat tuh hekai. Paudgili anci ada e sandha daya katwe bi itu. Ebagai raja nona upa upadi perinaman ayatan rata tulat eti kiri mata pah awas pasukam selesi itu benawa. Warga kiva itu raja kwasin awas tawadi desa palna matawadi mul keragena posa ragena hasilnya kandam mulut rata sanwandi nevetti mata ida dal laba dia nuhekar. 
ඒ සමගම අධ්‍යාපනයේ ගුණාත්මක භාවයේ උපරිම මට්ටමින් පවත්වා ගැනීමද ඉතා වැදගත්. ඒ සඳහා ජාතික මට්ටමේ ස්වාධීන තත්ත්වය සහති කිරීම හා ප්‍රමිතිකරණය මණ්ඩලයක් ඇති කිරීමට අවශ්‍ය නීති සම්පාදන කිරීම මේ කිරීමට මා යෝජනා කරනවා. ගරු කතානායකතුමනි ඉතා සුළු ලකුණු ප්‍රමාණයක් අහිමි වීම හේතුවෙන් විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ අධ්‍යාපනය මගහැරුණු ශිෂ්‍ය ශිෂ්‍යයන් ගණනාවක් සිටින බව ඔබතුමා එකඟ වනු ඇත. ඔවුන්ට නොසලකා හැරීමට අපගේ හැකියාවක් නැහැ. එම නිසා ඔවුන් වෙනුවෙන් නය යෝජනා ක්‍රමයක් ආරම්භ කරනවා. මේ යටතේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ප්‍රතිපාදන කොමිසම විසින් අනුමත කරන ලද රාජ්‍ය නොවන උපාධි පිරිනමන ආයතන වලින් වෙළඳපොළ ඉල්ලුම සපුරලා දීමට ඉහළ වන්න විශේෂ විෂයන් හැදෑරීම සඳහා ඉස ලකුණු මත පදනම්ව සිසුන් 15000ක් සඳහා එක් සිසුවෙක්ට පාඨමාල ගාස් වලින් රුපියල් ලක්ෂ 8ක් දක්වා වූ ණය මුදලක් ලබා දීමට යෝජනා කරන අතර මේ වැඩ සටහන කිරීමට හැකිවන සේ 2017 වර්ෂයේ සඳහා රුපියල් මිලියන් 300ක් මුදලකින් වෙන් කිරීමට මා යෝජනා කරනවා ගරු කතානායකතුමනි විශේෂයෙන්ම ග්‍රාමීය පාසල් වල විද්‍යාව ගණිතය තාක්ෂණය සහ ඉංග්‍රීසි වැනි විෂයන්ට ඉහළම දක්ෂතා ඇති ගුරුවරුන් හිඟය පිරවීම කටයුතු කළ යුතු යුතුව තිබෙනවා. ඒ සඳහා විශ්වවිද්‍යාල ප්‍රතිපාදන කොමිසම මගින් අනුමත කරන ලද රාජ්‍ය නොවන විද්‍යා විද්‍යාත්න වල ගණිතය විද්‍යාව තාක්ෂණය හා ඉංග්‍රීසි යන විෂයන්ට අදාළව අධ්‍යාපනයේදී උපාධි පාඨමාලාව හැඳිරී හැදැරීමට සිසුන් රුපියල් රුපියල් 5 ලක්ෂයක සිට රුපියල් 100ක පොලි සහන සියට සිය පොලි සහන ණය යෝජනා ක්‍රමයක් ඇති කිරීමට මම යෝජනා කරනවා. ඒ සඳහා සහභාගී වන සිසුන් ග්‍රාමීය පාසල් වල අවම වශයෙන් වසර 3ක් සේවය කළ යුතුයි. ඔවුන් වසර 3ක් සම්පූර්ණ වීමට පෙර එම පාසල් වල ඉවත් වෙනවා නම් එසේ ඉවත් වෙන අවස්ථාවේදී අදාළ ණය මුදල සම්පූර්ණයෙන් ආපසු ගෙවීමට ඔවුන්ට සිදු වෙනු ඇත. මෙම ණය යෝජනා ක්‍රමය මගින් ශිෂ්‍යයන් 5000කට ණය ලබා දීම සඳහා අපගේ මූලික ඉලක්ක වන අතර ඒ සඳහා රුපියල් මිලියන 100ක් දක්වා වෙන් කිරීමට මම යෝජනා කරනවා. ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ අධ්‍යාපන ක්ෂේත්‍රයේ තුල ප්‍රජා විද්‍යාලය කමියුනිටි කොලෙජස් ඇති කිරීම හැකියාව අධ්‍යාපන උසස් අධ්‍යාපන වෘත්තිය ආද අධ්‍යාපන බාලද බාල බලධාරීන්ට සොයා බලන ලෙස මං ආරාධනා කරනවා Honorable Speaker, given the country is keen to position itself as an educational hub, I propose to issue five-year multiple entry visas for 2017 to international students who wish to study in Sri Lanka, and such endeavors will promote educational tourism. You will no doubt agree, Honorable Speaker, that our state university education has been marred with issue of ragging and student violence. I therefore propose to establish Center of Gender Equality. E equality and preventing sexual and gender based violence and ragging for which i propose allocate 10 10 million honorable speaker you would have noticed as uh, has the house that we have spent an inordinate amount of funds on our university education i suggest that such each student be given a cost sheet at the point of entrance so that they are conscious of the funds allocated for their education from the taxes collected from the common man in the country this doesn't anyway do away with the free education it's only a cost reflection so that they know that this amount is spent it's for example when it's the agriculture sector uh, one uh, graduate spends up to almost 2.5 million of taxpayers money so it should be born by it should be known by the student skills development honorable speaker during my consultation with various industrialists i have informed that tourism industry requires almost 100000 trained workers textile industry requires about 60000 and the construction industry approximately 400000 similarly indications have been made by the cinema industry so much that the separate training institute was proposed in the last budget with the proposed free trade zones the free trade zones the demand for skilled labor will be on the rise clearly the skill gap is serious issue and must be addressed immediately therefore honorable speaker i use proposed to int introduce a significant shift in policy framework in vocational training by providing scholarship to anyone who wishes to uh, wishes to follow vocational training program at the state operated vocational training institution this will enable vocational training in sri lanka fall at no cost i propose to allocate 300 million to meet the cost of scholarship to provided under this program i encourage the vocational and training 
training institutions to expand the curricula to include courses at NVQ level on gemology, lapidary, jewelry design, cutting and polishing, precious stones, batik, bamboo crafts, and meet the needs of the market and industry. At the same time, given the urgent requirement to skill labor in apparel, healthcare, hospitality, and construction industries, I invite the private sector to provide training for 10,000 youth who at the end of the training period will be recruited to the relevant industry. To assist the private sector, the government will provide a stipend of uh, each trainee amounting to 10,000 per month for three months, for which I propose to allocate 300 million rupees. I also propose to allocate 200 million for the upliftment of Matra German Training Technical School and the Hotel Training School. Honorable Speaker, given that one in four households in the country own a computer, I believe that information technology could be utilized to take training courses to the doorstep. As such, I propose to establish an e-learning resource center at the University of California for which I allocate 250 million over a period of two years, where I propose to allocate 125 million in year 2017. Health, honorable speaker, at the outset it is, uh, itself, let me commend the health service personnel for their service to the country admittedly under resource constraints, which has resulted in the country being able to perform well, sometimes even on par with high-income countries in achieving key health indicators. The fact that we have been able to obtain the WHO certification for elimination of filaria and malaria, a testament to the professionalism and the dedication that the health service personnel in particular have displayed over the last so many years. And I think I must commend the, uh, the former health minister, the present president, and the present minister of health for the yeoman service, which has been established that it is a, a well-recognized thing, even by the WHO in the recent uh, past. Let me also note that the National Medicines Regulatory Authority Act was introduced by our government last year, as promised at the elections, to ensure the availability of medical drugs and devices at affordable prices. This has now enabled us to decrease the cost of 48 drugs by around 40 percent. At the same time, I must note that the limiting VAT to only limited number of services in the health sector realized the loss of revenue of almost 17 million, 17,000 million. This, honorable speaker, showcases the fact that we are a responsible government at work. We are not a government that will unduly burden on our people. This is certainly proof that we are a government that works that walk and talk the talk. As I speak, many in our country suffer from CKD. This has developed not only as a health issue, but also an unfortunate social issue as well. Honorable Speaker, we have already allocated 2,225 million to the Ministry of Health to address the issues on CKD. I propose to allocate a further 750 million in year 2017. Honorable Speaker, we provided allocations of around to 23,147 million in 2016 for improvement of the physical infrastructure facility in hospitals such as outpatient wards, accident wards, operating theaters, laboratories, complexes, and equipment. We will continue to invest in our health sector infrastructure in 2017, for which we have already allocated almost 25,000 million. We have already provided 1,000 million for the strengthening of patient care services by establishing a clinical waste management system in selected provincial school. I also propose to allocate 200 million for upgrading of the nurses' training school. Honorable Speaker, we must have a healthy and robust young generation. I understand the NCDs are the, on the rise, not only among adults, but also among the children as well. With diabetics, cancer, asthma being main NCDs, most of the NCDs can be prevented, cured, or controlled if diagnosed at the right time. As such, I request the health authorities to formulate a mechanism to ensure that every primary school in the country will have a visit from the health authorities every school term. I propose to allocate 50 million for this purpose, and anything more that is required will also be granted without any hesitation. I propose to allocate 100 million to the National Science Foundation to facilitate research mainly in the CKDU and other NCDs in the country. Sri Lanka has only two specialized children's hospitals in the country, the Lady Ridgeway Hospital in Colombo and the Sirima Bandaranaga Children's Hospital in Kandy. I know that 9.9% uh, um, uh, 9.9 .9 per thousand children die each year before celebrating their fifth birthday. Under the 
five child mo uh, mortality rate as per Millennium Development Goal was four to a thousand. The Sustainable Development Goal is to bring the bring the under five child mortality rate to zero. Honourable Speaker, given our commitment to achieve SDG, I propose to allocate thousand million to establish specialised paediatric care complexes in Karapitiya, Ampare, and the Jaffna hospitals. I also propose to establish a base hospital and in Natavu, for which I propose to allocate 200 million, and an oral health complex at the teaching hospital in Karapitiya, for which I propose 50 million. We will upgrade the Castle Street Maternity Hospital with the state-of-art facilities in 2017 on a PPP model at a cost of 3,000 million. This will further strengthen free health in our country. Honorable Speaker, I propose to allocate 500 million to establish a bone marrow transplant unit attached to the Candy Hospital to address the thalassemia, lymphia, leukemia, and other such diseases. There are a large number of unregistered pharmacies in the country and significant number of unqualified pharmacists as well. This is the trend that, we must be, that must be arrested immediately. As such, I propose all pharmacists be registered with National Medicine, Medicines Regulatory Authority immediately and all those who fail to adhere will be imposed a penalty of 100,000 rupees. Honorable Speaker, I propose to allocate 250 million to strengthen the Postgraduate Institute of Ayurvedic Medicine, focusing especially on the research development aspect in the Ayurveda medicine. Honorable Speaker, we are committed to ensuring a good quality free health care delivery system in the country. Although we have poured in funds on a continuous basis in the sector, I doubt if the general public is aware of the cost incurred. I therefore suggest that all state-operated hospitals issue a cost sheet to each patient on their discharge, indicating the amount incurred on their behalf by the state for his or her health care. This in no way does, a way, uh, uh, does the, uh, do away with the free health system. It only fortifies it. It's a better quality service at a more targeted rate is that what we want to do. Sir, so, ease of doing business in Sri Lanka. Honorable Speaker, our government is committed to creating an enabling environment for business to operate and do business with a minimum of red tape. Let me put this in the context where we rank 110 in doing business 2015. There are at least eight processes that business must follow before registering in the country. This is the above average among peer countries. Our aim is to shorten this to five processes by year 2019. That together with several other measures will enable us to improve our ranking to be within the top 70 nations by 2018. As such, I propose to have the register of companies open operations on all seven days of the week, barring public holidays, and strengthen the Inland Revenue Department and Labor Department related activities so that time taken to start up business could be reduced to four days from its present 10 days. I propose to introduce necessary laws to establish the Office of the National Business Registry, where all businesses will be required to register. We will take action to appoint national trade prosecutor who will be entrusted with the task of ensuring the trade and commercial agreements that the country will be in enacted properly. I propose to allocate 50 million for the establishment of national business registry and the office of the trade prosecutor. We will be introducing amendments to the Secured Transaction Act, which will enhance the SME's access to credit. Honourable Speaker, a clear land policy is an important in attracting investment. As such, I propose to introduce laws which give public limited companies freehold right of land. I also propose that the private companies with a majority of foreign holdings be allowed to lease land on long-term basis. However, if such companies would have invested at least 250 million, excluding the value of land, providing employment to at least 150 people, and have maintained the status quo for at least three years. If the conditions are not fulfilled, after three years, 100% of the lease will have to be paid up front. Such lease payments will be based on market value of the land as determined by the government valuer. Honorable Speaker, Although we are at a strong regulatory mechanism and final sector, we also believe that it's not unfairly inhibit the capacity to engage in economic activities. As such, I recommend that the Credit Information Bureau crib to not to provide credit history of those creditors with a cumulative original loan size up to 500,000. 
the laws relating to insolvency and bankruptcy in the country needs to be amendments to the line with modern day practices and hence we will take to bring suitable effective laws so anybody who is affected today through the um, um, uh, through the crib will be lifted up to 500000 so that they can be able to start activities with immediate effect during my consultation many traders expressed the desires to have their shops open at least till 11 pm which i also encourage given the private bus owners operators have agreed to support this operating buses up to 11 pm exchange control act will be repealed and the foreign exchange act will introduce to protect foreign research from irregular transactions empowered and well-paid labor force honorable speaker one third of our workforce is engaged in formal sector and the balance two thirds are engaged in the informal sector the formal sector is highly protected with the labor laws that do not provide for flexible working hours part-time work or any variation for 40 hour 45 hour week five hours day a week Conversely, the majority in the labor force is engaged in the informal sector with no protection from labor laws. In essence, the majority of our labor force do not benefit from the stringent and archaic labor laws in the country. I also note that the existing labor laws present us with the challenge of meeting the demands of the service sector, which accounts for almost 60% of the GDP and estimated to record the fastest growth in the next few years with tourism and IT industry being the key growth drivers. Driver. <clears throat> in the modern service industry, given our competitive advantage, we are best placed to attract knowledge processing outsourcing, legal process outsourcing, and the business pr processing outsourcing industry into the country. However, the KPOs, the LPOs, and the BPO industry requires flexible work, labor working hours, including working at night part-time work and work from home. Already the wages of IT and the tourist in the sectors are quite high, and given the potential growth prospects, the wage, wages will only see an upward trajectory. We must acknowledge that the development of technology, the employment opportunity to have changed drastically. However, to unleash the significant potential and the technology affords us, especially in the service industry, revisions to labor laws are necessary. Such revisions, let me assure you, will not compromise the security of the jobs, but will instead ensure the creation of well-paid jobs, which we must make available, especially to our young men and women. I am encouraged by the response of Jatika Vurtiya Samiti Paramuna in recommending changes for a rapid development of labor laws, given both the employee and employee, uh, employee and employee. Agree to flexible hours with 45 hours and five day week for private sector and a 40 hour week for government sector. Contract employment will be extended to one year from six months and wages based on performance. I also propose to restrict the manpower services to engage only in security, janitorial, canteen and transport activities. Honorable Speaker, given there are discrepancies between the various databases maintained by Employee Provident Fund Employees Trust Fund and the Labor Department, we will initiate a process to streamline all these databases together with the proposed Central Pension Fund.